atrophic gastritis and Sjogren's disease. Those of you who've watched my other videos on Sjogren's know that it's a condition that causes dry eyes, referred to as xerophthalmia, and dry mouth, referred to as xerostomia. Frequently, Sjogren's can be associated with other autoimmune disorders like lupus. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how Sjogren's is associated with atrophic gastritis. Atrophic gastritis is commonly an end-stage condition of autoimmune gastritis. Atrophic gastritis can also result from H. pylori infections and long-term use of non anti-inflammatories. As I've talked about with other videos regarding Sjogren's, this condition has a significant overlap with H. pylori infection in the stomach. H. pylori is a bacteria referred to as Helicobacter pylori that is known to cause stomach ulcers. However, a significant percentage of the world population has this bacteria in the stomach all the time. And this bacteria, when chronically uh, infecting the stomach, as it is thought to be in a number of conditions, seems to elicit autoimmune conditions. One of them that it's associated with is autoimmune gastritis, where the immune system is attacking the stomach lining. And one of the current thoughts is that maybe the immune system is trying to attack the stomach, trying to get to the bacteria. Also, we know that this H. pylori infection is associated with Sjogren's, not causing, I'm not saying that, but it's one of the bystanding infections that we see a lot in Sjogren's syndrome. And it's interesting how these all overlap, where maybe H. pylori is causing autoimmune gastritis, triggering the Sjogren's. And in this study that I'm attaching, 68% of Sjogren's patients had atrophic gastritis. That is a staggering percentage. So what do you do with this information? As always, my videos are topics for conversation with you and your doctor. They're not diagnostic. They're not medical advice. However, there are a lot of individuals who are looking to get to the functional root cause of their condition, and this may be something to look into, again, with the help of your doctor. I've also talked about in other videos how Sjogren's can be associated with Epstein-Barr virus chronic reactivations. I'm Dr. Randall Gates, board certified chiropractic neurologist, chiropractic physician from Gates Brain Health and Advanced MG in Reno. Thanks for watching. Again, check out my website if you have more questions about your condition. And that is gatesbrainhealth.com.